At first glance, White Castle's slider may seem like a hamburger shrunk down to a fun-sized version of itself. But in reality, the slider is very complex. So why exactly is this tiny burger so incredible? It turns out there's a lot to it. Here's why White Castle slider is so delicious. There are seven grams of fat per White Castle slider, to be exact. Since the sliders are meant to be eaten three or four at a time, it can add up to about 28 grams of fat per meal. That's a pretty hefty amount of fat when compared to the McDonald's hamburger, which clocks in at just nine grams of fat. While that means White Castle sliders may not be the most nutritious daily choice, the fatty patty has an amazing taste that simply cannot be replicated in leaner burgers. Ultimately, if you're watching the nutrition facts, you may want to stick to just one slider. But if you're willing to go all in, that fat is exactly what will leave your mouth watering and fill you right up as you somehow continue to crave more of the tiny juicy burgers. The handheld size of White Castle sliders is fully intentional. White Castle created the slider with a less is more mentality, and the mini meal was originally called a slider because just one of them can slide right down with ease. In fact, one pound of beef can make a full 18 sliders. They're made specifically so patrons will want to eat one, and then another, and then another. Not only that, but the White Castle slider is the original slider, with other tiny burgers simply following in White Castle's footsteps. So while they may be small, they are still mighty, packing in a full burger's worth of flavor in every fun-sized sandwich. Every fast food company has their super secret methods, and White Castle is no different. As the pioneers of the fast food burger, White Castle was the first to innovate ways to trap in those rich, fatty juices and seal them into the patties. So what's the secret? White Castle flattens the patty until it's incredibly thin and then sears the meat on both sides to lock in flavor while keeping the beef tender and moist. In fact, this strategy works so well that other fast food companies picked up on it over the years and copied it. But while other restaurants were making hand-shaped, individually cooked burgers, White Castle has mastered a more uniform method that no longer involves searing. They still use those thin slider patties, however, resulting in delicious, juicy burgers. Please tell me there's another White Castle in town. No. White Castle has also rethought the way employees cook burgers. They no longer flip the patties, instead opting to steam grill the burgers on a bed of onions. This is more effective for several reasons. For one, the burgers don't risk dents and deformation when workers flip them. They can also be left alone for longer and will cook faster. But more than anything, the bed of onions works to propel flavor directly into the beef. As onions cook, they sweat out an enormous amount of liquid in the form of steam. This is why onions taste so good when sautéed. When the onions create a bed beneath the White Castle slider patty, that flavored steam rises directly into the meat of the burger, making White Castle sliders extra flavorful from the inside out. Ever wonder why White Castle sliders are square with a distinctive five-hole pattern? Just like everything else in the famous fast food sandwich, the dice-like punch-outs are entirely intentional. More surface area means more room for the patty to take on heat, so the holes in the burgers help the steam travel through the burgers so they cook even faster. They're part of White Castle's dedication to getting fresh burgers out to customers as fast as possible. As for the square shape, well, that's just more efficient. When the sliders can be lined up on the grill in a grid-like pattern, you can fit a lot more on there and not have to worry about wasted space. For this reason, many fast food franchises have pivoted to square burgers, allowing their staff to cook more burgers even faster. But those five distinctive holes remain unique to White Castle. Remember those onions White Castle cooks their patties over? Well, they're not exactly sliced onions like someone might cut up at home. For the burgers made on location and the frozen version of the sliders available in grocery stores, White Castle uses dehydrated onions, which they rehydrate before serving. While factory dehydrated onions may take away some of the fresh factor from White Castle sliders, they make it possible to cook the fun-sized burgers on a budget. This makes it possible for White Castle to recreate their burgers in the freezer section of grocery stores across America. Ultimately, the ultra-concentrated flavor of the dehydrated onions result in a slider that is full of White Castle flavor. White Castle uses real American cheese that they place onto the burgers right at the end of cooking. That said, it's definitely reminiscent of the real cheese that can be found in a grocery store. Additionally, White Castle definitely adds artificial color to the cheese to give it that uniform, shiny orange glow. But artificial coloring practices are common among fast food cheeseburgers. However, when it comes to their frozen grocery store sliders, White Castle actually refers to their cheese as a, quote, 
log of cheese, which is maybe not the most appetizing imagery. Still in a world where cheese can make or break your fast food burger, the White Castle Sliders cheese definitely makes it. Semi-processed chemicals, artificial colors and all. White Castle doesn't cut any corners with external bun suppliers. The popular business has their own somewhat less well-known bakeries from which buns are shipped fresh to restaurant locations. The buns are baked in batches and shipped whole before getting sliced in half on location. The restaurant saves the slicing for last so the insides of the fresh bread doesn't dry out and get stale. Those buns are steamed right along with the burgers so they're soft and full of flavor, just like the slider patties. The buns are also perfectly sized to match the tiny burgers, which means by the time the customer is served the whole slider, it can be held in just one hand and will not fall apart. This is yet another feature that makes White Castle sliders super snackable. I want 30 sliders, 5 french fries, and 4 large cherry cokes. I want the same except make mine diet cokes. Chuck. White Castle essentially invented the fast food burger industry in 1921, developing an array of meals that were not only fast and delicious, but also nearly identical. So not only did White Castle create fast food, they created the kitchen assembly line to standardize their sliders and get them out the door as fast and orderly as possible. While the Ford Motor Company was revolutionizing factory production, White Castle was doing the same thing for sliders. Through this strategy, each slider comes out looking and tasting just like the last, which means wherever customers are, on whatever day, their sliders will always taste and look familiar. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite fast food are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.